guys? What's up? Oh, wait a minute. All right. I just woke up and I'm taking a dump. A good way to start the video on the toilet. <laughs> First session on the toilet. Today is done. <laughs> no, but for real, I didn't want to film today. But I thought, why not? Let's do this. It's the end of the week, the first week of the lame bulk. And I'm gonna weigh myself and show you my weight now. 79.9, 79.9, 80 kilograms. I've been on the 80 kilograms the whole week. Yeah, 80 kilograms today. Show you my physique after the first week of bulk or oh, bulk. So here's my physique now. Abs are still showing. Not as much. Cover it, man. Come on. Legs. Looking good. Abs, okay. So here you can see. Ba -ba. I never show you my back, but here's it. I hope you can see it. Oh, here's my back. I never show you my back because it's hard to hard to film because I can't see it. But yeah, it is Friday. It's end of the first week of bulk. I just wanted to show you my physique and my weight this morning. Let's get to the day. All right, it is morning. Like I said, I'm gonna do every single morning cardio in the form of rope jumping and some shadow boxing. So I will do every morning 10 to 15 minutes of rope jump just to get moving just to get started with the day so I'm gonna show you a bit what I do keep in mind I'm not a pro I just started so I will mess up a lot of times so let's do this I got my timer got my timer here and just light session see I make mistakes a lot A lot of mistakes are made, but it's all good. After a minute, gonna do shadow boxing. Just to get moving. So I'm gonna do that 50 minutes, and we'll see you afterwards. All right, guys. I did 12 minutes, it's enough. Hell of a pump. I did 12 minutes. It's more than enough for now. First week, not it. Sweaty as hell. I'll go upstairs, change, and I will see you in a second. Deja vu. Alright, guys, I've done my cardio. Another morning routine drinking my bottle of water. But I want to see. If I can beat my previous record, 24.29 seconds. And see if I can beat it today, shall we? So I have my bottle here. One and a half liters of water. It is morning. I'm going to chug this one and see if I can beat my old record. Let's do this. Open my throat. It's open. Now, I'm going to try and chug this in 24 seconds. Three, two, three, two, one. I'm going to make my coffee now. And uh, yeah, that will be it. Here's the coffee. I added some almond milk, some sweetener, cacao, and caramel syrup. Here's another bottle of water. So I didn't really want to film today, but I had some cravings, some things I wanted to eat. So if I'm going to eat something good, I might as well film it, right? I show you I will fit it all in my macros but I will eat really late today it is now I've done my cardio in the morning it is now 11:45, so it's all already pretty late so I'm I will try and eat 
around five six o'clock so I'm gonna have sp spaghetti meatballs I'm gonna have donuts and chocolate milk or something like that those are pretty much the things I'm craving spaghetti meatballs spaghetti meatballs spaghetti meatballs serve Italian meatballs with spaghetti along with a tossed and donuts those are really two things I'm craving today I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna fit it in my macros and yeah, pretty much it. Oh, good coffee, give me more energy. I need more energy, man. I need energy. Drink this coffee, and I will see you guys in the next clip. That will be later on today. So, yeah. All right, I'm in the kitchen. It is four o'clock. Four o'clock, I'm gonna make my pre workout, my first meal of the day. So, here we are. I have the pancakes. Really, really simple pancakes, oatmeal, banana, eggs, you can't go wrong with that. Nothing fancy, added just a bit of caramel syrup. Nothing really fancy, just a bit of caramel syrup, let's try it out. So here is the pancake. The banana gives it, gives it, it the sweetness. It is good, simple, but really good. Here's a pancake. Take a bite, guys. Yeah. Take a bite, guys. Put the macros down the screen. Like 600 cal, like 600 calories. Really good. That was my pre-workout. It was pretty good. It was pretty sweet. The banana was so ripe. It was almost black. So with the pancakes I forgot to eat but I'm gonna have just plain turkey meat. This is for some good slow digesting protein before my workout. So I will have this as well. You saw the calories. They're not high because I will have a bigger meal later on and I'm saving my macros for that one the spaghetti meatball meatball spaghetti <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this and go to the grocery store and then to the gym I've got good news I gonna start next week at my new gym but I won't film until next month so I don't I don't want to film like immediately I just want them to get to know me before I get <laughs> a camera out there so I have a new membership at a new gym and I'm, I'm, I am excited for that. I'm gonna film my workout routines, show you my progress in the gym. Best news is I'm gonna, instead of putting out two videos, I'm gonna put out three videos. So one full day of eating, one food challenge and one workout video. And if I have anything extra, I will put that besides those three videos so at least three videos you can expect next month so yeah gonna put out a lot of content for you I'm excited to do that excited to gain strength gain weight and show you my progress so I'm off to the grocery store I've got my backpack I forgot almost my supplements so I have my fish oil and my multivitamin I take daily there we go down <laughs> let's do this all right it, it has passed like a couple of hours it's 6 45 now I I'm gonna make my meatball spaghetti I was looking forward to this the whole day even yesterday night so I have a ton of ingredients I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna use so I'm gonna make so this all the ingredients you can see a ton of ingredients let me turn up the light 
turn this off so a ton of ingredients so I'm gonna make the sauce here I have tomato cut up here's cut up like pieces I have tomato paste I have this some tomato sauce I have fresh rosemary rosemary I have basil fresh I'm gonna have I'm gonna have broccoli with the sauce, also cook up, so cook up some mushrooms. I have onion, will go in the sauce and the beef mixture. Some garlic and egg. Heavy is some ground beef. The lean one, always use this one. 4.8 grams of fat, per hundred, so pretty lean meat. I have here, of course, the spaghetti. And with the meat, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna have like bread. I'm gonna soak this in milk and then make my meatballs with it a ton of ingredients I will show you step by step what I do just to change it up you know show my cooking skills let's do this guys well first off what I'm gonna do is soak this bread in just a little bit of water and just a little bit of water <laughs> I let that sit aside well for the sauce I'm gonna put some olive oil in the pan I'm gonna cut up the onion and garlic cloves chop it really fine That's the onion, now the garlic cloves. Just slightly fry them. If you don't want to burn it, just caramelize it. You can see slightly browning the onion and garlic. Now goes in the sauce. Sauce. And here is the tomato paste. Hoppa. To that I'm gonna add oregano. To make it spicy, chili flakes. Just a little bit. Let it simmer on low heat, medium to low heat. And that's the sauce for the meatballs. I forgot the mushrooms, so the mushrooms go in as well. I'm sorry if this is not really like organized. I'm doing my best to show you step by step how I make this. I'm gonna make the balls, so these are the ingredients. The beef here, I have the bread already soaked in. With the beef I'm gonna use sea salt, pepper, paprika, fresh rosemary. rosemary. I'm gonna use basil, chili flakes, oregano, another garlic clove, onion and an egg. Italians love garlic, so I'm gonna use a lot of garlics and I want these balls Coyonas to taste really good, so I'm gonna show you how I make the ball. Here is fresh rosemary, I don't know if I say it right, but and I'm gonna cut up fresh basil. There it goes into the mixture. It's the garlic, that is enough onion. Now goes onion in, garlic. I soaked up, so it goes as well. Oh shit. <laughs> sea salt, pepper, and season your meat. Good. Here's paprika, the oregano, and the chili flakes again. Just a little bit. And now, what you want to do is just mix it up really well. There goes one egg with the mixture as well. I'm gonna. Cook up some water. So I'm gonna cook up some water, salt the water. Flavor the water guys, flavor the water. What up? The water is boiling, so now I'm gonna 70 grams of spaghetti. Spaghetti, put into the water, just let it drop. It will loosen up. I'm also cooking up broccoli, and also what I will do with the sauce. Sauce here, simmering. I will add a few leaves of basil and rosemary just to flavor it extra. Now let's cook the meatballs. So I've put, I've put some olive oil in the pan. Let's roll up the meatballs, shall we? First meatball goes in. The last meatball, small one. I will cook the meat 
meatballs in a medium high heat for like 10 minutes. So the main key here with the balls is you don't want to cook them through because they will go into the sauce and like simmer it for 10 minutes, 10 more minutes. Turn them around, cook the other side. Yeah, it looks pretty good, mate. Spaghetti is almost done. Alright, the meatballs are done. Now I'm gonna put them one by one in the sauce. So here it is. Put a lid on and just let that simmer. Let's see how they're doing. It looks delicious. Alright, I'm in my room, the meal is done, here is the meatball spaghetti, I have some broccoli on the side, so I'm gonna call this full day of eating, I think, the ultimate FYM full day of eating, I'm gonna have donuts later on, so the, the ultimate FYM, just, just what you look at it, you can't beat this guys, you can't beat this, alright, I've got the meal here, so I will put the macros on the screen, I am estimating the macros, but it's all good, you know, it doesn't really matter. It is meatball spaghetti, so let's dig in, let's try this meatball. Try it out. It's so soft, it just melts on your tongue. Gotta have last bite a meatball. So here we go. I'm not lying, but this was one of my best meals so far. I have quite some macros left. For sure, something sweet to complete this ultimate FYM day. <laughs> I'm gonna have the donuts I said I'm gonna have today, but these are not really donuts, it's a Dutch specialty called Olibol. But it's it's similar to similar to a donut. So here is it. It is like a doughy texture. It's like a donut. So my mom me made these yesterday, but I'm gonna microwave them a bit. And also to have with the donuts, I'm gonna have chocolate milk, but I'm gonna make it my own. I'll have 250 milliliters skim milk. To the skim milk, I'm gonna add just cacao, 10 grams of cacao. Put it into the microwave. Just stir it around. And it's delicious, I tell you this. So here's the meal. I have my chocolate, homemade chocolate milk. And I have the donuts, homemade donuts. It looks like Nutella, but I have just chocolate protein sludge. And I have 16 grams of peanut butter. I wanted some raspberries, so I have 100 grams of raspberries. And this will be my meal. So the macros for this meal are on the screen. So here are the total macros of the day. Let's try one out. It's not Nutella, but it's good though. Take a bite, take a bite. Try it out. It's so good. Alright, I'm gonna enjoy these donuts, chocolate milk and raspberries. And I'm gonna leave it at this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching, try these meals out, try FYM, 
if it fits your macros. I hope you have a really great day. Enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below. And like always, have a really great night, great day. And do what you want, guys. Life's too short. Live life. Peace.